and welcome to my January favourites, even though it's the 12th of February. I only thought I'd do this yesterday because I saw um, some people doing it and I thought, well, I've done so much in January. And even though it's it's flown by, like, January, January, <laughs> January, oh my god, I can't say January, January flew by like a dove in a wedding great simile um and i just discovered some great things in january and i just really wanted to show them with you so here we go um first category i discovered the throne of glass series only in january if you haven't seen my book r and d's for them i'll link them below um, for the first and the second book. I'm reading the third book at the moment and these are brilliant. You really need to pick these up. It's a fantasy book. Um, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings slash Harry Potter slash Mortal Instruments and it's brilliant. It's this, the main character, Selena or Selena, I say Selena. The main character, Selena, is an assassin and it's all about her trying to get her life sorted basically um and there's love triangles and death and adventure and fairies and witches and it's just brilliant the writing is incredible the stories the character development i just loved it and i literally read the first three books in a short time i can't really think I'm not, I don't know, but yeah, these are my book series that I have read in January, and go and pick them up. Go now. Go. Next category is TV, and I've watched a lot of TV, because a lot of TV shows come back in January. Um, the first TV show that's come back um, is Revenge. If you don't watch that, it's about a girl called Emily but her real name's Amanda Clark and her dad got um framed for doing this terrorist thing and it wasn't him it was the Graysons and it's all about her get trying to get revenge on the Grayson family and it's so juicy and beefy and I love it. Another series I picked up this January is Bluestone 4-2. Now this is a British comedy series about um this group of Afghan British soldiers in Afghan and they defuse bombs and stuff but it's just brilliant the banter in it is so funny there's these two there's these two Scottish guys and they are hilarious they're like the jokers of the, the camp um there's a woman in it called Bird and she is just funny like she rips the pieces out of the boys and and she's just brilliant, like no one can fuck with her, she's, oh, she's my favourite, no. And then there's the posh twat, um, Simon, who's from Essex, and he, everyone just rips the piss out of him because he's always the one, the goody two-shoes, you know, he, he, Matt Lewis is in it, Matt Lewis from Neville Longbottom in Harry Potter, he's in it, he's in the second series, um, and he's really funny because he's the northern Leeds guy, and and he's just so funny. I only started watching it after Graham Norton, because it was on after Graham Norton. I saw Matt Lewis, and I was like, oh my god, Neville! Neville's there! And he's swearing, and he's just hilarious. <laughs> and that was kind of the only reason why I picked, started watching it. And then I started watching it from the first series, and it was hilarious. Um, it's more of a, like, more of a 16 to 18 plus, because there's a lot of swearing in it, as British people do, and a lot of sexual references and it's not really for innocent eyes oh that's so good the next category is movies now i haven't actually been to the cinema in january why is that i normally go to the cinema quite a lot i just i don't think i've had a lot of time i've been busy and i haven't had a lot of money but um i did pick if i stay up in asda and I have I saw it the day it came out in cinemas, and cried my eyes out and loved it. And it was this beautiful film. It's so beautifully sad and so wonderfully happy. 
at the same time and oh, I have read the book but I saw the film before I read the book. It's about this girl and her family are in a car crash and it's like an out of body experience. As you can tell from the cover there's like her and then her ghost her there and Jamie Blackley is the boyfriend and it's more about their relationship and and her life and it's all flashbacks like it's um it flashes between memories and her in the hospital and it's just a beautiful story it's and um, if you haven't watched it go and pick it up or read the book because they're both kind of similar the book and the film are quite similar they're, it's a very good adap adaption of the book and Chloe Grace Morez is in it and I love her and I can't wait for her to be in the fifth wave because I'm so looking forward to <laughs> that one as well so yeah so go pick this up next up is makeup now um I'm not a makeup guru I am a beauty therapist or training to be anyway shush and I do love makeup and I just needed some quick cheap makeup because I didn't have a lot of money on me and I was in a rush. So I saw this stand and it is MU and it is this MUA Makeup Academy. It is super cheap. This is a lipstick from um, MUA and this is a powder from MUA. Now these two were only a pound. A pound for this and a pound for that. It's not the best quality makeup, but it is good if you're just in a rush and you don't want to use all your nice, cool, benefit makeup. And and it's really cheap. <coughs> Shit. Drop a lipstick. Um, I love experimenting with products for my skin because I have quite oily skin. And I always pick up Garnier because Garnier, I find, is just... The best thing that's actually worked on me um, and it helps with my blemishes and spots and blackheads and I picked this up the other day because I needed an exfoliator badly it is a daily exfoliator I only use it once or twice a week um, it is Garnier Skin Naturals pure active anti blackhead deep pore wash um, when you put it on it does make your skin feel really really soft and clean you feel like your skin has been cleansed and your pores have been cleansed um haven't seen a dramatic change in actual loss of blackheads i think but i knew it wasn't going to happen overnight and I would recommend this to everyone else. The other Garnier thing I like is the three-in-one, where it's like a face mask, a cleanser, and a wash. That is really good. And these are really cheap as cheap as well. This was about three pounds, I think. No, it was less than that. It was really, really cheap. And I like it. And that is it. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!